Hey, yo, man. What's up? What's up? What's up? It's so good to catch up with you again. Yes. Yeah, tell a while. us. Yeah, it has been a while. So, um, first, I want to tell you thank you. I know you're traveling. I know you. You know we're gonna we're gonna get to see that thing go down the track this weekend. Yes, We're man. super 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 excited. Um, so. First, I said, like I said, thank you. And then, just catch us up on what you've been doing since we talked to you last year. Uh, it's been I've been building blue since then. You know what I'm saying that's, that's, basically, <laughs> that's basically what I've been doing. I've been building that carpet down for about a year now. Years have changed. So you know, since that time, my last show, I just been you know concentrating on getting back, getting back, getting back in the game. Uh huh. Yes. No, nah, that ain't the only thing you've been doing. Through that time, you built another car and sold it. I was like, yeah, what is this I, guy doing? Yeah, I, but I got that car back. I built my brown car because what I did was I put the blue car on the back burner, you know what I'm saying? And I, I got so frustrated with it that I just built me something else like a ride around in. And since I did that, I said, I'm going to turn blue into a race car now. So, you know, I spent some time and I built, uh, built my... Built Louis, Louis the Thirteen, and then I got that to drive around in, and I made this one out to be a race car. So this is my race car now. So okay, so the brown car is your ride around car. Brown car, the ride around car. <laughs> this is the race, race car. Oh man, blues on the road, so. We're going to get some going in and out on that. Hmm. I can't vouch for that. I'm not going to say that. I'm going to have to let him say that. So, okay, I told him today I'm going to get your help with giving away some stuff because it's my anniversary month. And um, somebody typed in the comments, are we giving away a new set of Corleone Fords? I can't get out of way. <laughs> but listen, if you want to get out of the way, that's up to you. <laughs> so, that's what? To be a raffle for that. What'd you say? It's going to have to be a raffle for that. Okay, well, we'll let's do it. <laughs> so, we'll go ahead and get right into the fans' questions. Um, the first question is, are you going to do a little bit of street racing in the car? I don't think so. I think those days are over for me. Yeah? yeah. No more ever? I think those days are over for me. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, maybe the brown car hmm. one day. Hmm. Okay. This car here. This car, I got too much, too much going on in this car for the street. That makes sense. I, I can see, I mean, I, I enjoy good street race just as much as the next person, but yeah. you guys are getting so fast and it's so much involved in the cars now. It's it's, it's, it's a little bit much to street race. Yeah. It's, it's um, next question, what's the best race you've ever seen um, or been a part of? The best race I've ever seen or been a part of. Uh, I'm trying to think. There's been so many of them. No, I'm not gonna lie to you. The the the, 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 the most the, the races that have been the most fun has always been the ones on the street. You know what I'm saying? Those those races have been those races are always fun. Oh. Uh huh. Fun race I was a part of was that time that uh, two flyer race cut the check in the street. Uh -huh. That was the funnest race I was a part of. Yeah, yeah, that 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 yeah. Race was good. Street races are so fun because they're so dangerous. It's like so much adrenaline. Like you gotta wait, you gotta make sure the police not gonna come. You got it's so much fun at a street race. Yeah, <laughs> the the one that 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 dunk master and two fly race on MLK. I think that was the that was the race I say I've seen the most people at on the street. Like it was literally thousands of people out there to watch that race. I think that was probably the, the most the most the most epic, you know, street race 
But the most fun was the month we raised up the check. Of course, because we won. What's the best e- outside of your event? Because, you know, we can't really count out. What's the best event you've ever been to? Uh, I'm not going to lie, man. That, uh, you know, all the ones at Palm Beach be good, but I don't want to be biased. Uh, that, uh, that first, uh, that first Dome Super Bowl, that was a real, that was a, that was a real good event. Uh-huh. Out in Orlando for Classic Weekend, that was a good event. But either that one or one, uh, on the DNL, DNL Against the World event, the first one they had, that was crazy. That was a good event, too. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, I know last time we talked... You talked about um, you being the only driver of the car. Have you decided yet to not be the only driver of the car? I didn't drive that car with me. I've said it many times, and huh? I'm like, I'm like, the, I said, I'm like, the, I'm like the captain in the ship. You know that? <laughs> you know how. When the ship go down, the captain got to go down with the ship. He is not allowed to leave the ship. Right. That's what it is, the blue magic. If it's going to go down, it's going to go down, and I'm going down with it. So no other driver? No other driver's driving that car. I remember years ago you said, I'm not I'm not letting, I'm not building this car and letting nobody else drive it. If I'm going to lose, I'm going to lose, so... I'm gonna drive the car. This was years. What? What? What was that? Was that two years ago? Yeah, two years ago when I decided to drive the car. And ain't nobody, ain't nobody ever drove this car since then, and, and that's what it is. Huh. So, well, we, y'all heard it. That was together. definitely. We gonna fly together. We gonna die together. One of the two. That's not, that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of the questions. Someone wanted to know if you were gonna allow Big Low to drive the car, so y'all got y'all answer. Yeah, no, it was. That was a. We played. We, we were playing that night. I said, Big Low jumped in. Big Low jumped in the seat. I said, Before we gonna take a picture. We gonna get on. We gonna, we gonna give them what they be asking for for the past couple months. So we took a picture with Low in the driver's seat. <laughs> <laughs> How many how many times did you have to go back to the drawing board with blue? Uh shit. Um quite about you know, cause you know how it was in racing, man, like you you really gotta sit here and decide what angle are you gonna really decide on going. You know what I'm saying? Because you start off with a project and you feel like this is all I want to do. And then when you get caught up in competition, then you wind up changing. Because I was a supercharged dude. Like, I love supercharged cars. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had to be convinced to go turbo. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was supercharged. Supercharged are fun. I love the way the supercharged, supercharged the sound when you get on it. But in these cars and in the field that we're doing in, supercharged has a limit. And it can only get you so far. So I felt like if I want to be in the top, in the top, top, the only way I'm going to get to the top, top is by like going turbo. So I'm going turbo. All right. Who would you say is your biggest rival in the, in the big round racing? Uh, I just think, like, you know, I need to get Fly got that monkey off his back. I need to get that monkey off my back. So right now, you know what I'm saying? I just want to knock off Dunk Pass, and after that, I'm shooting for uh, Hollywood Customs. So, you know, that's the plan. So Dunk Pass is first, just to get that monkey off my back. Then we'll go down from, we'll, we'll leave from there. We'll go on from there. Hmm. That's a good answer. Hmm. So, so after Dunk Master, you feel like. You want to take on Hollywood custom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One by one. Hmm. One by In one. any particular order? Macho first. Mighty Mouse. 250 Slim. And then whoever else after that. Number three, I want first. Hmm. Hey, Castle, let me tell you.
say this now. I always have a particular set of questions for you guys uh-huh. that when the group, when the females know you guys are coming on, that I always have to get clearance to ask these questions. But I did see one of the questions roll up in the comments just now. So since it's in the comments, someone wants to know, are you married? Not, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. We'll we'll leave that there. <laughs> yeah, not yet. All right, we'll leave that there. We understand what that means. <laughs> yeah, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Um, so when you first decided you were going to get in big rim racing, did you ever think it would be as much money and as much time with the car to try and get it (laughs) to the point where you can win some races? You know, it started off just driving to the beach and stoplight to stoplight, you know what I'm saying? Then it became a a sport, a rivalry. It became competitiveness and everybody trying to change the game and trying to elevate it to go faster and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? But the moment it comes, listen, I'm, I'm going to say this. The moment it comes down where people are putting roll cages in the cars and back half and don't on all this stuff, it's the day that I'm retired. You know what I'm saying? I'm out of it. So when that becomes, y'all start, when they start allowing people to come in with, you know, real life race cars and they just putting, you know, rims on the back just to try to get into our situation, that's the day I'm walking away. You know what I'm saying? That's the day I'm walking away from it. And I ain't got to go back. So the reason why we did all of this thus far. You know, this started from, you know, being in Miami and just driving the car and going fast and all this other stuff. And now I see, you know, you got people trying to really build all out race cars with two chassis and all of this stuff and just throwing rims on the back to, you know, say they qualify. You know, once that situation comes out, I'm, I'm out. I'm about to do That's it for me. Okay. So until then, um. I'm going to continue to chase the dream. Hmm. Would you be open to build a car for someone that's trying to get into the dunk game? Would I be open to build a what? To build a car for someone that's trying to get into the dunk game. Yeah, I mean, I have a lot of people, man. People hit my DM all the time asking me, you know, do I have a suggestion for this and for that and for this and for that? And I always have a mind. You know, I somebody hit me the day. What can I get this from? Where can Yes, I can hear you. I think they was wanting you to build a car for them. I think they was wanting you to build the car for them. For them yeah, for them to get yeah. into the dump game. If they come up with a budget, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm, I'm <laughs> at the end of the day, don't expect like I tell people this, my time is valuable. So if you want me to take my time to do something for you, then best believe that I want to be compensated for my time. So, you know, the biggest thing to me is time. So if I can't be compensated for it, then, you know, there's no, there's no reason for me doing it. How much would you say, would you, if somebody came to you and said, how much do I need to spend to get, to be a serious competitor in big rim racing in the dunk game? If, it depends on what they consider a competitor, you know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, to build like a car like Savvy, I mean, you can do that for, you know, sixty, seventy thousand, you know what I'm saying? Seventy five thousand, something like that, you know what I'm saying? But if you wanna build a car like fly, it's gonna take you, you know, or me or you know what I'm saying, somebody that's in that's really doing it, it's gonna it's gonna take you over a hundred, you know, hundred hundred twenty five, you know, hundred and fifty thousand, you know what I'm saying? Just just, you know, to get to a a top five or top ten competitive level. So, in order to be a serious competitor, you looking at a hundred or hundred fifty? 
150, yeah, 150. Like, you know, I, just in this upgrade on my car, like just on the upgrade to my car right now, I'm over seventy to eighty thousand dollars in this upgrade on my car right now. Wow. Like the motor, you know, all of the stuff that was entailed, you know, suspension work, you know, the time, you know, tuning and all that stuff. I'm 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 I'm, I'm over seventy for sure. I'm over seventy for sure. And probably more than likely after I have the last couple of weeks, I'm about over eighty thousand in this upgrade. Just an upgrade. Do you ever be do you ever be like sitting down like bro, I just really wanna cry. I don't spend all this <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you, like two weeks ago I went to the track and uh, we went to the track Monday, we bought the track out and this, this is like this, like I paid I paid to buy the track, you know what I'm saying buy the track out Right. it's a thousand dollars to buy the track out you know what I'm saying, and that's at a discount so I paid a thousand dollars to buy the track out, then I gotta pay my tuner you know what I'm saying, to come to the track and tune the car or whatever so I got there, we did like one pass, it started raining you know what I'm saying I lost that money right there. Lost it. it down the drain. Two thousand dollars down the drain. Then, you know, we we came back Wednesday, bought the track again, got down there, did a couple shakedown, started raining eight forty five. Again. Like that day I you know, I was lost that day, like, you know what I'm saying? Like I literally almost lost it. So, you know what I'm saying? And I flew back to Miami, left my car there, left my truck there, flew to Miami for a day, had to, you know, sit down and gather my thoughts, flew back up there that Friday, went to the track that Friday night, bought the track again, bought the track again, went there again that night, and then we got the car to do what it's supposed to do, you know what I'm saying? So. But it rained two days in a row. <laughs> two days in a row, yeah. And she like, you got people... It's like Sprocket boy, I was about to ride you. I was about to ride you for a second, Sprocket. So let me let me not read the comments, you know what I'm saying? Cause I was about to give them real good. Yeah, don't don't read it. Don't let me let me let you know what I'm gonna do. Let me. No, no, don't read. You got cut off. You got cut off. He was about to get it right now. <laughs> Talking about money don't make you fast. I was gonna really don't, get don't. Right now, but we ain't gonna we're not gonna do that. <laughs> Is he, oh. hey, hey, the cheat, the cheat, it, it's easy to be a spectator, you know what I'm saying? It's easy to be a spectator. <laughs> you want to so, you know, yeah, these motherfuckers talking shit about your car, they be crying about paying $25 to see the car at, at, at the track. So, uh, don't come to me about, about that, but continue. Next, next up. So, somebody asked me to ask you, why do you have so many people blocked? Because, okay, so I give you I give you a prime example for that. So, why would you, if, if you know you're going to a place and the energy is not going to be the energy that you like, why would right. you walk into that place? I would right. walk to a place like that, you know what I'm saying? I would stay away from a place that doesn't have the energy. So, when I see people, and, 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 and I see people, and... Once you block a person, you know what I'm saying? I, I feel like I block the people because not because I it's it bothers me or I, I, it hurt my feelings. I just don't want to kind of see it. Like why why do I want to let you feel like you can write me and say something to me? You know what I'm saying? I just block you. Like the, the crazy part about that is like if I don't like somebody, right? If I don't like somebody, or if I don't like what they posted, I don't follow them. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I agree. I, I don't follow like there's there's pages that people post like gory ass shit like people getting shot killed and, and cut up I don't follow that page because that's not what I want to see like you know what I'm saying like I, I don't want to wake up my day and somebody's head getting cut off on my timeline you know what I'm saying I just don't care to do that you know what I'm saying right. so I can't understand how somebody will follow somebody look on their page go on their live watch them to and they don't like them I just don't understand that. Like, I don't, I don't have that kind of energy or time or whatever in my life to be doing those type of things. So, like, people that come on here and, and it's not like the first time they write something, you know what I'm saying? I block them. That's not what it is. Like, 
It'd be a continuous thing to the point where I remember your name that it caught my comment and you know what I'm saying? I'm like, did the motherfucker still right? Say, no, let me just block his ass. You know what I'm saying? It's not like, you know, a lot of times people look at stuff and they think that, oh, people only reply to negativity. That's not true. You know what I'm saying? Like, I reply to everybody, whatever. Like, you say something that, you know, catch my answers or something like that, I'm going to reply to it. You know what I'm saying? And the negative stuff, it catches your attention because it's like, you know what? Let me block this motherfucker. You know, I ain't got time for this today. And get you, get you somebody else to go mess with. And I'll have so many people write, Cat, unblock me, Cat, unblock me. I didn't block you just for nothing. Like, I blocked you because you came on here multiple times writing some negative shit and don't do that somewhere else. Will you ever unblock people? I'm going to block somebody before. I'm going to block the food people. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're uh-huh. right, hey, man, you know, I have you right there, dog. I'm... I'm you blocked me that day, you know, I was talking shit that day, but I didn't think you were going to block me. I'm like, bro, listen, I don't come on your page talking shit. So, right. why you come on my page talking shit? Like, sometimes I just don't be in the mood for that shit. And yo has to get blocked, and then that's the end of it. I don't lose no sleep. I don't lose no sleep. Two or three hundred people on my shit that just blocked. Well, I'll make a slight case for them. I, 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 my campaign is for you to just go down your block list and unblock everybody and give them a chance and then start fresh. You can start I, over like they can I start mean, with a clean play. Yeah, I think, you think, you think, so you think they learned their lesson? Hey. Had a dude beg me to ask Cat to unblock. Wait a minute, you broke up. I can't hear what you're saying. I couldn't hear what you were saying. They said I was reading the comment. They said had a dude beg me to ask Cat to unblock him on a live two weeks ago. <laughs> See, like, I give you an example, like Mr. Artificial, right? He was on my page, and you know sometimes people people try to say that they're a heckler. You know what I'm saying as an excuse to come on your page with the bullshit, you know what I'm saying? Like, so people are like, oh, I'm a head, look what I do. No, 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 no. That's not, that's not, that's, you can't call yourself something to come on there and write shit on people, pay for people. No, no, I block your ass too. But I don't block them though. I put them, I, I block them for like three weeks because I met him. We have a conversation, so he's a cool dude, you know what I'm saying? But he was on block for like three weeks and I don't block them. He don't be talking crazy, crazy no more. He may say one or two little things, but he don't talk crazy, crazy no more. You know what I mean? I just put a little pause on that. (laughs) So what constitutes somebody getting blocked? So what constitutes somebody getting blocked? blocked? How many chances they get? So, like, it's it's okay to talk about racing. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's okay to talk about racing. It's okay to say, hey, you slow. Hey, Cam, your car is, your car, sorry. Your tune is horrible. It's okay for that. Like, I'm okay for all of that shit. But when you start saying you dumb, you spending all this money on a, on a, on a bucket, when you start saying stupid stuff like that, that's when you get blocked. You know what I'm saying? Because now you taking it personally. Like, oh, you, you insulting my intelligence for one. And then number two, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you just taking it a little bit just on a personal level. So that's when you get blocked. Right. So, in, in reference to um, I, what you have going on outside of the big round racing game, someone asked me um, if you to ask you if you were ever open to um, giving entrepreneur, entrepreneurial classes. Like, so we know you have things going on with the rims. We know you have things going on with credit repair. We know you just have like a lot of business ventures going on. Would yeah. you ever be open to giving entrepreneurial classes? I don't mind. You know, I, I actually, I actually started. I was going to start actually real soon with mentoring. You know, one or two people. You know, what I'm saying, and, and, and getting into you know the trucking situation because my, you know, I have a I have a trucking company too. But like, and I and I don't post my I don't post my like a lot of stuff I don't post. Like I post the rims because you know what I'm saying like I'm the number one salesman for Corleone Ford three years in a row. You know what I'm saying? Well over millions of dollars being sold every year 
of Coleon Forge Rams. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Brand ambassador, all that good stuff. Sponsor, all that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I use the Instagram as a platform. Of course, I do good business. You know, everything. So mostly by the book, and I try to do all I could, all I can for my customers. You know what I'm saying? So that's one aspect of that. Uh, I'm a realtor as well. You know what I'm saying? I don't really post my realtor stuff online. I'm a licensed Florida realtor, not no sales associate. So, you know, I don't post that online. You know what I'm saying? I kind of like venture away from the credit repair stuff because it's just too time consuming and it's saturated and there's a bunch of other stuff going on. So I kind of like branched away from that. But, you know, my, my main source is, you know, my trucking company, a realtor and uh, Corleone Forge. All right. Yeah. So you said that to so say you would not be open I, to I, give it. I've, I've, I've helped people. I've, I have helped people, you know, get into start up with the business and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And I, if anybody ever hit me up and asked me, you know, if they want to, you know, start this or start that, but I tell you all the time, listen, I did 13 years for corporate America. I did, I gave them 13 years. And I did it and I got to a point where. I felt like the people that were supervising me should not be supervising me. You did 13 years where? At Corporate America, at Royal Caribbean. I did 13 years gotcha. at Royal Caribbean. Gotcha. And before that, I was at Publix for three or four years. And I got to a point where, you know, the people that were supervising me, I felt like should not be supervising me. Uh -huh. So... It was it was too, it was so crazy. Right? Let me tell you how crazy it was. how corporate America is and how it's structured, right? It's really fucked up. Um, you have somebody that does whatever they had to do to get in a position that's higher than you. So then now they have somebody that may not be smarter than you, may not be educated as you, and now they're in control of you. You know what I'm saying? Right. And right. I don't feel like anybody should be in control of you to that point. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, it was so crazy because I'm I got an S550, right? And I couldn't even drive my car to work because I didn't want my supervisor asking me why I got an S550. You feel me? Like, wow. that's how corporate America is. You feel me? Like, wow. I'm, I'm driving an S550. My damn supervisor is driving a fucking, you know, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, that doesn't really mean nothing. But they start looking at you funny when you have a situation going on better than them. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. he saw me in my S550 one day, and then all of a sudden, he checking my clock on what time I clock in. Now he's at my desk every day like, oh, uh, you came in late today. Oh, oh, you did. Oh, yeah, this is what... And, and then, you know, it, it comes into a point where it's out, it's not really work-related no more. It's, it's, it's maybe something else, some other intentions going on, you know what I'm saying? So at that point, I just decided that, you know what, this is not for me no more. And I and I make more money outside of corporate America anyway. I was only there for the insurance, the 401k, and insurance for my kids, you know what I'm saying? So... It got to a point that I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to try it on my own. And it's been three years on my own, and it's been all right. I tell people that all the time. If you, if corporate America don't give a damn about us, and if I die, my job will be online before my obituary will. So Absolutely. That's, that's one thing that I noticed that me and a lot of my team, you know, the people around me, they, I won't say struggle with, but that's where we are now. We're kind of one foot in, one foot out of corporate America. And so I'm glad that this question came up because that really inspires all of us to know that we can we can walk away and still be good. Yeah. Because I, I started thinking about it like, you know, and, and, I, and I was making decent money at my job, you feel me? But it's like, I feel like... I'm giving, and this is this is where, but I'm not telling nobody to go ahead and jump out of a situation. You got to make sure you already got something brewing, going, and starting up, and it's making you money, and it will make you more money if you just have more time to dedicate to it. 
Like, if you had a situation where the only thing that was stopping you from making more money is time, because you're giving time to a job, then I would say, you know what? Now it's time to branch away and let me give this more of my time. And, you know, basically like watering watering your plants. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's basically what it is. And then when you got that going and I had a situation where, you know, I'm doing the racing. You know what I'm saying? I'm selling rims already and I'm doing all this other stuff. And then I say, you know what? I make more money doing this on the side than I'm making at work. And I'm giving these people way more time than I'm giving right. them myself. So I figured if I give myself more time, then I'll be able to make more money. And that's exactly what happened. I swear I just had this same conversation with somebody 30 minutes before you and I are talking. I just had this same conversation. <laughs> if if you could if you could tell your if you could tell your the 21 year old cat anything um, that you know now, what would that be? I told my son, and this is I'm gonna get this is I'm gonna what I told my son. I say I would give my son a truck on my company before I make him go to college. You know what I'm saying? And that's just my perspective of it. You know what I'm saying? I was I would give my son I would give my son a truck to start his business or give him something to start his business before I send him to college. And that's just my way of thinking. You know what I'm saying? I'm not knocking nobody that go, for, that go to college in the NBA in corporate America. I'm not knocking you for that at all because those things are very beneficial and that you can sustain a really good lifestyle doing that. But I would I would go and start a business. And something that I love to do and you know, try that out first. That's what I was saying. I love talking to people like I'm a people's person. So like, you know, I, I a lot of my customers are from Alabama, Louisiana, Tampa, Georgia. Like, this I, I sold a set of rims today, right? To a guy in Tampa. Never met before in my life. I said, he asked me what rim, yeah, he told me what rims he wanted. I told him the price. And he went to my account and put and paid for the rims in full today, this morning. I never met this person, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like the energy I give and the way I handle people and deal with people and you know, that that lets a person feel comfortable to give somebody they never met before in their life thousands of dollars. You know what I'm saying? Right. For an order right. of rent. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. So hmm. and I love That's doing that too. I love rims, I love cars. I love, somebody some picture that car like, man, now these these are running to go with, bro. Go with these. And they take my advice on it, you know what I'm saying? They take it and they love it and they roll with it. Right. Well, Kaz, so this is what we got to do. We got to give away some stuff, right? So this is my anniversary month. Remember, hey, Kel, I hey, Kel, my, hey, see, that's my customer right there. Kel, you know, I I, I met you before, but sometimes I just don't remember. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I, I'm saying, you know, let me tell you a story, right? Two weeks ago, I was in uh, I was in Summit, right? And I was in line getting some parts, right? And the dude walked up over there, hey, man, what's up my steering wheel? I was like, your steering wheel? I was like, what rims you got? He showed me a picture of the rims. like, oh, okay, yeah, X, Y, Z. You know what I'm saying? And then we started chit-chatting. I called, got an update on the steering wheel, X, Y, Z. And I, he spent, he didn't bought two, three sets of rims from me. And that was my first time meeting him by random in something. You know what I'm saying? That's why I keep my face clean. <laughs> Yeah, you just have a you gotta keep your face clean. Listen, your face, clean. your face card, your face card will keep will take you places that money can't. Absolutely, I tell people all the time: if you don't keep your face clean out here, absolutely, in everything you do, in personal and business, you got to keep your face clean. Got to, man. So we have about another nineteen minutes. We got to give away some stuff. It's my anniversary month, and we're giving away stuff. The last show, A to the Bay gave away a hundred dollars okay. to the person that answered the question that we asked. Okay. I have some merch. They were campaigning for Corleone wheels. I can't make that happen. I got a lot of pull, but I can't get yeah, no that's Corleone. Wheels. That's, a, that's a lot. I mean, what, what, what's the next option? <laughs> so I don't. So we're gonna give away some stuff. So what I have is a dumpparts.com shirt and sweat towel. <laughs> That's for the man. This is for the male. These are the new dumpparts.com shirts and sweat towels. Okay. 
And then for a female, we're gonna give them a purse. Seventy-four don't. Damn, you coming from back then with the two eleven three? That's crazy. No, I'm just, I'm really so we gotta figure it. out yeah. how we're gonna give this stuff away. Do you wanna ask a question? Do you wanna just randomly pick somebody? How we wanna do it? Okay, so let's see. If they're watching the live and they let's see. We're gonna ask a question. Okay. We're gonna ask a question, right? We're gonna ask a question about dumb racing. Okay. And we're okay. See, we're gonna see uh um if they know the answer to this. Uh See, hold on, hold on. I'm trying to think of one. I, I, I got to get the answer myself <laughs> before I ask the question. And I got to ask a good question. Uh, okay, who was the first person I beat at the track in Blue Magic? Oh, that's a good question. I think I know, but I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> Who was the first person that I ever beat at the track in Blue Magic? <clears throat> so we got a, it's a little delay, so we're going to wait for the clip. Bruce? Somebody say a Bruce? Nope. CC? Nope. There it is. He got it. What a cash. Who was it? MJ. Oh! Who said it? The butter cash. Hmm. Okay. MJ. Alright, so it was a guy. So make sure you DM me your information so I can get this, this, this shirt and this towel out to you. Now, we're going to ask a question for a female or we're going to give something away to a female. Who do we want to give it to? Okay. Uh, what other option we got? Um, let me see what females are on here. Hey, man, no matter what, we should just give it to that girl, Miss Gotti, or whoever she is, just give it to her. Oh, my God. So, Miss Gotti, yes. Yeah, just, just give it to her. Because what she did this morning, what she did this morning, she just, just give it to her. Just give it to her. Just give it to her. <laughs> she had me. She had me crying real tears. No, listen, just give it to her. Just, just give it to her. She came in there with the full face mustache. That listen, just give it to her. I was, we, we was, we was, we was handling business this morning, and we all was stopping looking at her live, like, and when she kept touching her nose and and, and then doing, doing the little shit with the beard, yo, man, listen, that shit was hilarious. No, not when she had somebody call her phone oh, and they yeah. said the car was gonna hook on ice. I yes. was like, I'm dead. Yeah, I'm listen, dead. Man, listen, listen, man. That that was funny this morning. I ain't gonna lie. That was that was real entertainment this morning. All right, Miss Gotti. Um, DM me your information and I'll go ahead and get your bag yeah, sent to you, yeah. courtesy yeah. of um uh, Miss Bot Chevy Royale. Purchase all the purses for all the ladies this all month right, for me so to give away. So what I'm gonna do is. By your next live, which is next week Wednesday, uh, and just remind me now, I'm gonna come up with something to give away for next week. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate it. I got yeah, you. So I'll gonna, see you uh, Saturday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we gonna so we gonna come up with something this this weekend to give away for your next show. Thank you so much. I, I really appreciate I'll it, Kat. I'll be the sponsor for the next show. Thank you, I appreciate it. It won't be the um, same on Forge Rams now, but you know, it'll be something decent. I was gonna say if it's Corley on Forge Rams, I'm taking them because they know, can't have it. That's gonna be biased. That's gonna be biased on that one. Yeah, yeah. So in clothing cat, what would you like for all of your fans, followers, supporters, hell, even your haters to know about you? Uh let me see. I've been saying it the last couple of times uh, on my lives and stuff like that. Listen, the negative comments don't bring me down and the positive ones don't bring me up. I'm who I am every day of the week, Monday through Friday. During business, I was a one person, but every day, all day, I'm one. I'm, 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 I'm can. So, you know, you hate me or love me, 
I ain't do nothing for you to hate me. <laughs> if you hate me, that's in your heart. It's not in mine. So, you know, right. that's all I got to say about me. So, I'm I'm right. I'm a I'm an easy going person. I don't hate nobody. I don't hate on nobody. And you know, you hate on me, that's something in your heart, not in mine. Right. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? You know what? Somebody asked me that, right? Somebody, it's crazy, right? Because that was a question that they used to ask in corporate America. You know what I'm saying? Where you see yourself in five years and X, Y, Z. And to be honest with you, I don't know where I'm going to be in five years. It's so crazy because every day could be an opportunity for something new. And I don't plan five years ahead. I don't plan 10 years down the line. Because something could come up on a Wednesday or Thursday that could change your life for the next five years. And that's how I look at it. I'm not, because I'm always looking for something to be better and greater. And I don't know what it is yet. You know what I'm saying? It may come next week. It may come next month. You know what I'm saying? And that's why, you know, I did what I did. Because I don't like to be on a structure, a structure or something. Where, right. okay, next week, Thursday. I get a paycheck for $1,700. I'm going to have to pay this, 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 and that bill. And then I can be able to make it to the next shit. No, no, no. I could wake up I could wake up on Tuesday and make $3,000. I could wake up on Thursday and make $4,000. You know what I'm saying? Right. And that's just, I like the hustle of that. I love the hustle right. of that. So where I'm going to be in five years, hopefully I have more money in my bank account than I have right now in five years. And that's all I go hope for. Yeah. Well, Kat, it's always a pleasure speaking with you. I I tell people all the time, I have nothing but great respect for you. And I can only speak very highly of you. Since, I, since we first had our initial contact, since we first initially met, you've only treated me with respect. And it, the respect has been mutual. Absolutely. So that I give everybody respect, man. Everybody, if I, if, if anybody has ever met me personally at a at a show, if, even if it's even if it's my show, even if I'm in the middle of racing, even if this is this night, I have never, you know, what I'm saying, just told somebody I ain't got time to talk to you or somebody. That I speak to everybody. Somebody, right. I I may not have seen you before. You know, even if you come and speak to me and talk to me, I'm like, hey, man, what's your IG, man? I'll follow you back right now. You know what I'm saying? And I do that all the time. So, you right. know, uh, that's, that's, well, that's who I am. I give respect to everybody. It's up to you right. if you keep that respect. You know what I'm saying? And right. that's just how I roll. Well, thank you so much. We'll see you Saturday, Cat. And good yeah. luck. We, we can't wait to see Blue go down the track. Oh, yeah. It's going to be it's gonna be real it's going to be real surprising this week. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. We appreciate it. We'll see you Saturday. All right, Saturday. Thank you. Bye.